learned how to double dutch, which was a really interesting experience because none of us knew how. We knew how to single jump rope, but double dutch is a lot more difficult, I would say. Um, so first we looked up some instructional videos and we learned how to jump in, which is basically the hardest part. And um, we started from nothing, literally nothing. We got our ropes the first day, we went outside, none of us could jump in. And we stood outside in freezing cold for about two hours because we were so addicted to it. And um, yeah, we ended up learning how to jump in probably after a week and a half. And then we started going uh, more steadily. And then we learned things like one hop, like one foot hops. And there's a video over there and we're raising money for the American Heart Association and trying to raise awareness. We are learning, I would say, uh, how to make sushi. And I mean, at this point, we're kind of like experts. <laughs> I don't want to say we've learned everything there is to know about making sushi. But we've learned everything there is to know. <laughs> yeah, we actually did learn a lot. Chef Revron is a really good instructor and he's a lot of fun to work with. I've never sewed anything before. He was. Um, this course he was real helpful in accommodating with all that. Um, I think it turned out pretty well for, the, for our first time, I guess. Uh, hopefully this summer I can sell a few flannels as well to go with it. Putting the snaps in and whatnot and creating the different layers. It's got uh, pockets as well. This was actually from a piece of wood from a tree that fell down on a, during Hurricane Irene. Um, and so when that happened, I asked the facilities to cut me up a piece of wood. And it was about like, it was probably this big, it was pretty big. And I needed to like plane it out and get it to like the thickness I wanted. And I took like a body of a Stratocaster and I copied the design of it so that I could get this shape of guitar. And I wanted to be able to dedicate it to Taft and represent like my class and what I've learned here. And so what I did is I took a Dremel, which is just like a small power tool, and I went and I carved the Taft motto, non ut sibi. And I also carved the Taft emblem and my class because we want to represent in the hallways after we leave. Um, and then after that it was basically just putting in the electrical components and attaching the neck and it was done. <laughs> Um, a documentary just to show the struggle that LGBTQ youth go, go through. And I made this documentary not just for, my, for myself or just for the people who are struggling from this, but I dedicate this to my grandmother because out of all people, she's the one who always kind of take, pe takes people in. The tempering the chocolate is you have to chop the chocolate block up because you can't use chocolate chips because they have preservatives. So um, you melt your chocolate down, you seed another, and you have to agitate it to get all the molecules together, lined up nicely, so it gives it a nice snap. And after you do that, you dip either your peppermint patties or, in this case, Milky Ways, which are sea salt, caramel, vanilla bean nougat, and then you cover them in chocolate. They're delicious. I must say. So I did those. I got molds for the gummies and for the lollipops. And overall, it was a really fun project. I made over 500 Milky Ways. Um, my stats here: over 300 peppermint patties, uh, over 100 ounces of Tootsie Rolls. Um, probably, I don't know how many ounces of gummies. It was a lot. <laughs> and then I made a ton of lollipops. So. Um, I did an architectural studies of Taft, and um, I wanted to really showcase the, you know, the architecture and it's something that the students don't really appreciate sometimes, and I definitely overlooked it over the past four years, so I wanted to really like take uh, different aspects of the buildings around campus that I really liked and um, draw those, and so I did, first I did like a layer of um, pen, and then I used oh, ink wash afterwards.